Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM, and it's time now for a look at the Northern Areas Footy Association. Spud McKay is on the other end of the line with me to recap a big round last weekend. How are you going, Spud? Good, thanks, Dan. Great to hear. Well, let's get straight in, and uh, unfortunately, we're going to start with the absolute shellacking that Jamestown Peterborough copped at the hands of Broughton Mundura. 30 goals, 2,200 to 4 goals, 226. We certainly picked a big Broughton Mundura win, but, geez, I didn't think they'd bring up the double ton. No, you don't like to see those sort of margins, but uh, that, that game was uh, over and done a quarter time, 7-7 seven, seven to no score in the first quarter, and uh, and then uh, there, there's been probably a few things. I, I see their, their coach, uh, Broughton Mundura's coach, Tommy Whelan, kicked eight goals. Uh, he normally plays... Uh, I've only ever known him play across the half back line, um, so he's put himself up forward and uh, managed to to get a bag full. So uh, that that's what happens. And there was a, you know, some big individual efforts there. W- William Hewitt had seven, uh, Sam Dyer six. So uh, you know they they, were, they had a big day out, but uh, it wasn't great for Jamestown Peterborough. And they you know they just they they just looking forward to the end of the season now. I would think. Yep, that is a dirty day, but they've got one week left, so we'll see if they can end it on a uh, slightly more positive note than that. Big win for Broughton Mundura, though. That puts them uh, up above Crystal Brook on the ladder. They move up to third, which I think is as high as they've been all year. So they're coming home with a bit of a wet sail. Uh, they moved above the Brook because they went down at home to Oruru in what looks like it was a pretty cracking contest. Oruru going on the road and winning 10-9-69 to 7-10-52. Yeah, that that was a good game, and uh, you would expect that. You know, these are two sides that are going to be in, in the finals, and uh, may or may not uh, catch up again. It'll just depend on results during that finals there whether they do. Um, but uh, C- Crystal Brook were around the mark, uh, similar like scoring shots, seventeen scoring shots to nineteen. So uh, that that in- indicates a reasonably uh, even sort of game, and uh, they, they've got players that are uh, starting to to come into form or a Roo have now uh, and Crystal Brook are, are very similar where uh, they, they get some players back and uh, uh, to, I, you'll be interesting to see you know who, who sort of fronts up tomorrow but uh, you, you would think that they would try and have most of their fit players back uh, because there is a, 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 a week off there so uh, um, uh, no sorry there's not uh, they they will be fronting up the following week, so they'll need to have them in form and ready to go for the finals. Last game from last weekend was another pretty close one. BMW going on the road and beating Southern Flinders 12-16-88 to 11 goals 6-72. You'd have to think Southern Flinders are pretty happy with that final score and they were only down by six points at the final change. Uh, yeah, they'd have to be thrilled with that given how dominant BMW have been this year. Oh, definitely. You know that that's certainly the the case there. Uh, BMW, uh, like this was played at Warabra, is uh, not not an overly long ground, uh, fairly wide, uh, and uh, they they didn't have a uh, a, a great uh, uh, deal in in this in scoring twelve sixteen. It's not accurate kicking there. So um, that, but uh, I think Alec Kanga was reasonably happy with the fact they got over the line and uh, yeah well done to Southern Flinders they've hung in there well they, they haven't had a great great year as far as wins go but uh, it appears as though they're, they're somewhere around the mark when it gets to uh, competing with the with the top sides. All right and looking forward to round 16 the last round of the season it's a big day for Jamestown Peterborough they're hosting Crystal Brook uh, whether or not it's a win, is uh, it'll be a tough ask for them. There's no doubt about that. But it's a huge day for the club. 83, 84, 03, 04 and 2014 Premiership reunions all taking place. There's going to be some legends of the club around to watch this last game of the year and to uh, reminisce on some uh, better times for the club. Any chance you reckon the, the players taking the field will take note of that and uh, maybe just step up their game a little bit, find some motivation uh, seeing so many former legends of the club? Yeah, look, you'd hope that that would uh, spur the uh, the current uh, team to perform tomorrow. Uh, but, I mean, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure that they, they do have been trying all, all the year, but uh, it's just not quite good enough. Uh, and you would think that Crystal Brook... Uh, Will Will Coombe, uh, he, he'd be uh, one of your biggest dangers in the centre there. 
and then uh, Oscar Pedler in the ruck will be up against probably Max Macchio and uh, and Henry Moore. Uh, so uh, that that the, the winner of that duel will then give their on ballers a much easier path through to goal. And of course, uh, Crystal Brook have the ability to be able to to score goals. Uh, they've got uh, Daniel Hill probably would be you know one of their keys. Uh, but uh, you know they they. They, I think they'll be too too strong for for Jamestown Peterborough, but uh, let, let's hope there's a good crowd there to to see it and uh, they, they finish off the season in in good style. Yep, hopefully they finish strong. It's an important day for the football club with all those uh, Premiership players coming out to uh, reminisce on the good times and to watch the current team play. Big day for Crystal Brook though as well because they can move into third. If they win and Broughton Mundura lose, I don't think it'll make that much difference whether they finish third or fourth, but uh, it might give them a bit of confidence finishing higher on the ladder. Broughton Mundura have a hard task ahead of them. They're playing BMW at Bullaroo Oval, so uh, they will certainly be looking for a little tune-up ahead of finals, but it's a tough ask for them to win that one. Yeah, it, it is. And, uh, I, look, I just think that uh, it, it's a game where you probably might you'll try a few things out. Uh, BMW... Um, they uh, they may not play uh, Broughton Mundura uh, again if if they were to uh, be be able to to get straight through, but uh, uh, that that's a big if. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, uh, at Bullaroo, uh, may, maybe Bullaroo will be just a little bit strong. But Broughton Mundura are certainly hitting their straps at the right time of the year here, and uh, they're, they're doing a really good job. They really are. They're in great form at the moment, Broughton Mundura. They've won, I'm not sure how many they've won on the trot, but it feels like they've won a few in a row. I'm pretty sure they beat BMW uh, not that long ago as well. So they're finding form at the right time of the year. Last game for tomorrow, Oruru hosting Southern Flinders. So I reckon the Roos are a good chance to finish their season off with a win and lock in the minor premiership. Yeah, I think so. They uh, they shouldn't have a lot of trouble there, but uh, you know they just need to to come and, and sort of assert their authority early on and then, uh, you know, just hope that uh, well, Southern Flinders have really got very little to play for other than a bit of uh, prestige if they can, uh, uh, we're able to, to knock off Oruru because uh, you, you would think at this stage anyway, Oruru are, are shaping as maybe favourites for the flag again. Uh, Aidan Lee in, in the ruck uh, against, up against Lockie Pole would be a pretty good duel and then uh, their on ball is Darren Hughes, Dylan uh, Dylan Fowler, they, they're all uh, been really good players throughout the year. Of course, uh, Southern Flinders have got Matt Spensley in the, in the centre there and uh, he, he will be uh, instrumental in, in giving them some forward thrust. Uh, Shane Ballantyne up across the half-forward line and, and on ball. Uh, so uh, you, 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 it'll be a, a, a good spectacle, but I would think Oruru would get the points. All right, tips in for Oruru in that one and it is the last round of the regular season in the Northern Areas Footy Association. Spud, all the best. Enjoy the weekend. Hopefully you get a bit of rain and hopefully uh, there's some good footy for you to watch as well. And we'll catch up with you again next Friday. Thanks, Dan. Catch you next week.